Hello po, mabuhay. Peace be with us po. Ang blessed din po sa ating lahat. Nagbabalik po ang Calm and See. Okay, some powerful prayer nga po. Sabihin po natin, Jesus, I trust in you. Okay po. Ngayon po ay nasa 26 Sunday ordinary time po tayo. The gospel for today reminds us on how to be obedient. Pagsunod sa utos o tawag ng Panginoon. Sa buhay natin, kapag may nag-uutos sa atin, madaling sabihin na, Oo, gagawin ko. Wait lang. Pero, sa bandang huli, nakalimutan ng gawin. Meron naman sinasabing, Ayoko, hindi ko gagawin, pero gagawin din. Nakakotse siya ata. Let us ask ourselves, How do we follow the will of our Father in our daily lives? Especially during this time of pandemic. Pakinggan po natin ang readings and gospel for this day po. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. You say, the Lord's way is not fear. Hear now, house of Israel. Is it my way that is unfair, or rather, are not your ways unfair? When a virtuous man turns away from a virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if a wicked man turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins which he committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The Word of the Lord In the first reading from the book of Ezekiel, sometimes we think that the Lord is not fair. Huwag po natin isipin yan. Kung meron man po tayong hindi magandang nangyari sa buhay natin, huwag po natin sisihin si God. Baka naman po, hindi lang po maganda ang ginawa mo. Kaya kapag hindi mo nakuha ang gusto sa maling paraan, ay maninisi ka na. Huwag naman po. Talikuran nyo na po ang masamang gawain upang mabuhay, matuwid ang tuntunin ng Panginoon, ang pamantayan nyo ang baloktot. A reading from the letter to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, do nothing out of selflessness or out of vainglory, rather, Humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. Have among yourselves the same attitude that is also yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he empathized himself taking the form of slave, coming in a human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and in earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. In the second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, St. Paul reminds us to be humble like Jesus. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Let us complete our joy. May peace reign on us and may we be united in one love and may we be one in heart and soul. 
Let us not do anything just because we want to be famous. Let us be humble. Do not think we are better than others. Let us care for the welfare of others, not just our own. Let us be humble like Christ Jesus. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priest and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said and replied, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said and replied, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet, even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord Our Gospel for this day is taken from St. Matthew. In today's Gospel, we are reminded of how do we respond and obey God's call. In our lives, when someone is asking for favors, it is easy for us to say, Yes, I will. Wait lang. But in the end, it will not be followed or done. There are those who will say, I do not want or I will not do. But in the end, will also follow. Lagi po natin nararanasan ang ganitong sitwasyon, lalo na po sa bahay. Wait lang! Sino kaya sa atin ang nakaka-relate sa ganitong sitwasyon? Kayo po ba? Ako po nangyari sa akin din po yan. And I'm sorry po, lalo na po kay mami at daddy. Maybe this is the time na ma-realize po natin na mali pala ang ganitong gawain. Baka po, kasi nakafocus ang isip natin sa iba. Kaya hindi natin nasusunod ang utos lalo na ang mga magulang natin. Sabi nga po ni St. Paul sa Philippians, Do not do anything just because you want to be famous, but be humble. Let us ask ourselves, how do we follow the will of our Father in our daily lives, especially during this time of pandemic? O Diyos, turuan mo po kami maging mapagpakumbaba, lalo na po sa panahon ng pandemya. Turuan mo po kami huwag maging maangal. Guide our parents to lead us in godly way. Tulungan mo po kami, O Diyos, na maging masunurin ng mga bata. Imulat mo po ang aming puso at isip na kami ay kaisa mo sa pagtulong sa aming mga magulang, pati na po sa aming mga kapwa. Amen.
Thank you for watching my dear brothers and sisters. Maraming salamat po at God bless po sa ating lahat.